this kind of super good sailing. You got some beds around, cause you're the only refuge now. Welcome on board Trimaran Hot Sauce, a 46 foot performance cruiser that went through a four year long rebuild and got launched last year, and now cruising Sierra Cortez, Mexico. Hey, good morning, everybody. And, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to Trimaran Hot Sauce. And I'm in La Paz at the moment. We just finished a very good uh, one month of super good sailing. You will see in this video, it's probably the best sailing so far on Hot Sauce. So I really hope you will enjoy this uh, this episode. But I also want to try. Uh, I also want to uh, announce that uh, hot sauce is up for sale. Uh, some of you already know it. You figure it out. It's a little bit sad. Some of you think, but it's what it is. And <laughs> you know, we spent four years rebuilding hot sauce, and now uh, we've been cruising with her for about a year. And. Um, yeah, life goes on and uh, there's other things to do and uh, yeah, we'll see. But uh, if you know anybody who's interested in uh, acquiring a, a super good uh, performance cruiser um, in mint condition, uh, share this post to let them know. You can contact me at uh, sailorcap82 at gmail.com. It's sailorcap82 at gmail.com. And we're asking 149,000 US dollar for it. And I can also uh, uh, deliver the boat uh, to some places. And, uh, but yeah, let me know. But uh, I've been super happy with the boat, you know. She performs so nice, both in uh, light wind and in rougher conditions as well. So it's, uh, it's a very fun toy to own and uh, she's still a very good cruiser, I would say. But yeah, uh, enjoy this video. And then in the end of the, this episode, you will see some uh, photos of hot sauce. Thanks. Back in Mexico and I brought my brother. So my brother Joaquin will be with me for about one month and uh, right now we have just provisioned so we're more or less almost ready to head out to the islands where you see around us. Uh, we just need to get the head sail up and the main sail so maybe in two days we're out sailing again. Just hope for some wind as well. We're back sailing after five days in Puerto Escondido. We have the boat more or less in pretty good shape. All the sails up, you know, water make is running, everything else is running and you know we've been cleaning here and there and it's always lots of preparations uh, when you uh, when you have left your boat for a season. And today is a pretty short sail, I guess. Uh, maybe we haven't really decided where to head yet, but uh, about 10, 10 or 12 miles, I guess. So, yeah, we're doing around 7.8 to 8 knots. Not a bad start at all. Well, I think I have to say this was a pretty good first day sail since I got back. We've been up to uh, 10 and a half, I think. And you know, flat water sailing, it's not a drop on deck. Super nice. So we're going to, we changed our mind and we head to uh, uh, Balandra. I uh, went there uh, last season. It's a pretty nice place. And then we could just keep on going on this uh, on this tack. So it's super nice. And my brother, Joachim, he really seems to like it, I think. Maybe he's a little bit scared of that acceleration. Yeah. Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Right, we made it to Balandra Bay yesterday through very good sailing. Uh, got a lot more windy than uh, the forecast had uh, sh uh, has had shown. 
so was a little bit worried you know we're anchored pretty close like you see here and um, so I stayed up a little bit in the night just to be sure uh, there are some uh, more winds coming and uh, we'll think we'll need to uh, relocate so we're probably gonna leave right now or like in five minutes and uh, we'll see where we end up We're getting closer to Isla Coronado and we're just gonna fall off in a minute and roll in the head sail and then take down our main and then go in and anchor. The wind has picked up. Um, I woke up this night, started to pick up a little bit more and now it's about all right now it's sustained 25 knots uh, but we anchored pretty pretty well i have to say we're not that affected uh, the wind is coming from um, from north uh, a little bit northwest and uh, yeah our boat isn't rocking too bad so we're very pleased and it's gonna kick up uh, a little bit more in the evening so i have to say i'm pretty glad that i'm anchored here now and Downwind 25 is not too bad. Maybe not what we hoped for, but yeah, we're running the engine today. So from Coronado up to San Juanico, where we're heading now, uh, it's about 17, 18 miles, notable miles, and um, we're almost there. We have about three miles left. San Juanico is a really nice bay, and we're anchored in five to six feet of crystal clear water. We did some okay snorkeling, but in many places the visibility still wasn't up to my standard. It just seems to be in the summer you can nail it here. Okay, I'm pretty spoiled to all the places I've been to in the world. But every now and then I managed to get some good ones here as well. Of course, in shallow water like this, there's usually never any problem with visibility. We explored the bay with the dinghy and tried some different spots. The water temperature is warmer now in November compared to when I left Mexico in the end of June. I guess around 24 centigrades or 76 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface and about the same when free diving a bit deeper. We went out on a small hike. First, was look we were first looking for a trail, but we couldn't really find it, so we just find uh, we just followed the, the main road here. And obviously, where we went up was private property, but he didn't say until he came up to the road.
reached another small top. I have to say, the hiking has been so good and cool here on this peninsula and the surrounding islands. And San Juanico was no exception. Sometimes there is no real trail, but it usually doesn't stop us. This time of the year, the temperature is so perfect as well, around 25 centigrades or around 77 Fahrenheit. And I still haven't seen any rattlesnakes around, although they say they do exist here. Again, uh, we left uh, San Juanico uh, late morning, like 10.30 or so. We were supposed to leave a little bit earlier, but sometimes you just don't uh, get away when you want to. Uh, there was not a lot of wind in the beginning. Um, we were first planning maybe to go to Concepcion, and then we changed our mind to go to Pulpito, but then the wind picked up again a little bit. So, we're right now heading to Concepcion, Bahia Concepcion. Probably won't make it uh, in daylight, but um, hopefully it will be good anyhow. But we have good speed now, uh, doing about 10 knots. Oh my gosh! Wet. I don't want to wet this camera. And um, yeah. It's good. It's good. A little bit too fast. Yeah, we have about uh, between 13 and 15 knots. Um, our apparent wind is um, about 21, and we're doing a speed between eight and a half and nine knots. Uh, we're heading about, the apparent wind angle is about 30 degrees, so uh, I'm pretty proud that we're still doing uh, like nine knots in these conditions, you know, like in 13, 14 knots of wind. So yeah, no, it's good. We're making uh, progress, we're making miles. decided to disappear. Well, not disappear, we're still doing, I don't know, three knots or so. Um, we'll probably be in the anchorage around eight, I think. So that's another two and a half hours. But yeah, yeah we'll get there. We're heading a little bit further south in the bay and uh, we got nice downwind. A little bit more comfortable than uh, when we were uh, heading up here yesterday. That was a little more bumpy, although more fun. Yeah, yesterday we moved on and we anchored in uh, 
sensitive pack, I think it's called. Yeah, something like that. And uh, we didn't do a lot. Uh, the, I discovered we had a crack in our uh, V birth hatch, so that was bad. And I also had some problem with the drain uh, system for the anchor locker. And today we moved on. We first went on a walk on the beach there, and now we have. Uh, Taking uh, hot sauce another two three miles uh, up the up the Concepcion uh, by Concepcion, and now we're anchored in um, um, in Bahia El Buru, I think it's called El Buru. So yeah, it's uh, usually campers or some um, beach houses like this. Right, it's uh, morning. Uh, the sun is uh, soon to um, to rise, and we're leaving uh, Bahia Concepcion. Uh, it was just two days here, but uh, yeah, at least we've seen it now, and we had a good weather window to cross over to San Carlos, and that's about 70 to 80 nautical miles. Um, yeah, so we we left um, like five in the morning, an hour hour and a half before the sun was rising. And we just put up the sail now, and we're doing about six knots. So hopefully we'll get to San Carlos in time before the sun is setting. We are getting closer to um, get out of this um, this bay, Bay Concepcion, and I've just made some coffee, some uh, breakfast, and uh, the sun seems to enjoy today. And yeah, we're doing maybe seven, eight knots, and soon I'm gonna change our uh, course. But now, breakfast. Not too bad, you know? <laughs> This was better than the other day when we were doing good speed? Or, yeah, I think so. you just got used to it maybe a little bit? Yeah, but uh, the boat is performing good, so... Yeah, top speed so far, or would you have 12 something? Yeah. And now we're just flying. We have the wind at, at about... Uh, 55 to 60 degree apparent. And we got true speed about 14, 15 knots. Well, hot sauce is continuing to deliver. But yeah, it's really some action, I have to say. There were waves that started to build up a little bit. Uh, but you can really feel the speed. <laughs> okay, 12.7. Hey, 13! Way! <laughs> 13.1 <laughs> Does it feel like sport or cruising? Ah, oh, I think it's more sport, yeah. <laughs>
are getting closer, but to what or to where? I'm not really sure. We're first uh, aiming for uh, Guaymas. I mean, okay, when we left, I said we're leaving for San Carlos. At that time, we hadn't really decided if we're going to Guaymas or San Carlos. And my friends, they are up here, and I thought they were in Guaymas, but I just sent a text now, and they seem to be in San Carlos. So we just had to uh, shift, uh, I don't know, 40 degrees. Um, angle and now we're uh, beating up uh, maybe around 45 degrees up to the wind it's not that bad but we had a very smooth sail till we had to change course uh, and now I really hope it's San Carlos we, uh, we are going to now or if they're just there and they're both in Guaymas I'm just waiting for cell reception right now this crossing was really super fun and probably the best sail on hot sauce so far Top speed 15 knots and we average about 10 knots during the 100 nautical miles we sail this day. But now, let's enjoy San Carlos and see you soon again. Thanks for watching.